Welcome back to another BRE Sunday event for Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Today we're playing a map that's never been seen on this channel before. It's a coastal village put together by none other than the BRE themselves. It's much more close quarters than anything you've witnessed before, so let's take a look. The war rages on with Bretonia versus the Coalition clans once again. After our recent defeat in the forest, we head towards a nearby town to get some much needed rest. The BRE are right on our heels and offer no respite to our troops. They arrive moments behind us and immediately begin the assault. We start today with a great shot of the Bretonian cavalry. Each one of those knights at the front is a lord of a great Bretonian house. They act as bodyguards for their king, Leon Leoncourt. The BRE immediately begin their assault on the town. The coalition start on the opposite side and the BRE rush to take up superior positions. On the right flank we have the brave men of Aquitani leading the way. And next to them we've got Artois and Brion. Heading over to the other side of the battlefield, the coalition are arriving led by SVCI. Both teams are rushing for control point A and should arrive at roughly the same time. People often wonder why the Coalition seem much more heavily armoured. As far as I'm aware guys, it's all cosmetic. Both teams have the same stats. The Coalition seem to have got to control point A first, which is located inside the church. That means the BRE are going to have to come to them. We've got CI and Host forming a beautiful shield wall there. The battle enters a skirmish phase as archers attempt to get as many kills as they can until the main brawl begins. Both teams are doing a great job protecting themselves with shield walls. No one wants to take an arrow to the knee this early. At the back of the lines there you've got Montfort and Curon. As both teams stare each other down, I can tell we're right on the precipice of an all-out assault. The Knight's Hospitaller attempts to charge, but it looks like a feint. I think they're trying to draw that side of the BRE forces into a premature attack. They're going to need to be careful, because it looks like the entire BRE force is shifting right and surrounding them from both sides. Montfort coming in from the back and surprising the Kingdom of France there. The Coalition a little slow to react there, but charging right to pick off any stragglers from the BRE as they move. All BRE forces are now charging in and the Kingdom of Borderland come out of the church to join their allies. Blood Diamond also in the church doorway looking to see if they can get a sneaky flank. The Coalition forces inside the church are going to have to sally out, otherwise their forces outside will get defeated in detail. At this point in the battle, the numbers are slightly in favour of the BRE, but not by much. It's still anyone's game. Over on this side, Blood Diamond are fighting against Montfort and the Order of the Lake. All of them are wearing black armour, making it very difficult to spot who is who. The fight rages on, but we've still got a lot of troops on the battlefield. Keep in mind that the control point is inside the church. The BRE are going to have to make their way inside soon. As we head into the church, the KOH are defending the narrow entrance point. They have to be aware though that there's two entrances behind them. Just outside the church, the Almogarvers are making a last stand against the BRE forces. They're heavily outnumbered. There's just nothing they can do. The BRE's superior numbers overwhelm them. All of a sudden, it's looking really hopeless for the Coalition. They're outnumbered two to one at this point in the battle. And as we watch the last remaining seconds of the battle, it looks like it's going to be a Bretonian victory. Well played, guys. But don't leave just yet. Breaking tradition, we're going for a round two. In this round, control point B is up for grabs. This one's located right in the center of the town. 
it's going to be one of the narrowest fights you've ever seen on this channel. This time we're following the coalition forces more closely as they form up and head into the town. It's a race to get to the control point first as this is a highly defensible position. If they can take it first, they'll have the advantage. We're sweeping through alongside the troops just to give you an idea of what they see from their eye level. It's very narrow, visibility is very poor down here. As we head into the main square you can see their Brion have just got there before us. It's unfortunate because now they can hold an extremely narrow choke point. Blood Diamond doing what they do best, head onto the rooftops. Hopefully the BRE haven't spotted them and they can get a surprise jump on the enemy from behind. Looking in the bottom left, I can see a few of the Knights Pilgrim looking up. It seems like the BRE are aware of Blood Diamond's spot. They've got to be careful and choose the right moment to charge in. Brion on the right, they're getting very aggressive and keeping the Coalition in point. The only way the Coalition can currently get to the control point is through that narrow gap. If they're going to win this, they're going to have to find another way around. BD waiting for the perfect opportunity, but they're going to have to charge in soon, otherwise their allies will get massacred. In the distance, we can see the Bretonian cavalry heading around the beach. The Coalition cavalry are in pursuit, the Viaria are forced to turn and engage. Head back towards the main fight and BD have come off the rooftop and are now engaging the enemy. Somehow the coalition have now got behind and it's looking much better for them. Capture point B has just been taken by the coalition which is very promising. As coalition forces spill into the marketplace, the VRE are trying to plug the gap by holding them at the choke points. But I think the coalition just have too much momentum. They're pushing through piece by piece. The numbers are really starting to dwindle now. We've got half units left on the battlefield. Coalition have finally taken control of the marketplace. There's very little presence from the BRE here now. They still have 75 units. The Coalition are going to have to find out where they are and go on the hunt. If the BRE play this right, they could still bring it back. The Coalition are going to need to spread out and go on the hunt. The BRE could tackle them one by one, piece by piece. As we head to the top of the town, the Kingdom of France and Almogarvas have found the remaining BRE forces and engaged them. BRE numbers looking very slim now, outnumbered more than 3 to 1. It's going to be extremely difficult to bring it back now. I think they've lost this one, guys. Coalition clean up the remaining BRE forces and lead on to victory. Just before we end the video today, I'm going to give you a nice sweeping shot of the town just to show you the full battlefield that we were playing in today. Kudos to the map makers of this one, they've done a great job with the aesthetics. Can't wait to play this map again and show you more. GG everyone, and well played. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. These events happen every Sunday. There's an open invitation to anyone that wants to take part. We have 500 players on the battlefield at the moment. Let's see if we can have even more. I personally play for the Kingdom of Borderland, the guys in the blue shield. I'll leave a link to our Discord in the description below. You're welcome to join us. GG, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.